Hello and welcome to this tutorial on adding an RSS feed to your Drupal website. So, as an example, we've got Drupal's official blog. And if we come down to the very bottom here, we have an, uh, a link to their RSS feed. And I've subscribed to this in my own RSS reader. And now I can read all of the posts that get published to the Drupal.org blog. So I want to do that for my site. I've installed Drupal and here is a vanilla version of it. It's using the Olivero theme for the end user display and it's using Clara for the administrative theme. And right out of the box, we see there is an RSS feed, which is great. So if I were to take this RSS feed and look at it, I can take the contents and I can paste them into this RSS feed validator, check it out. And unfortunately, sorry, this feed does not validate. It's got an issue with the date format and there's a couple of other non-critical elements, but we'll be able to clean up some of that through this tutorial. So where did this come from? RSS feeds in Drupal are powered by views, which is great because it gives us fine-tuned control over what to include and not include in our feed. And Drupal comes with two feeds out of the box, the front page feed that we just saw, and a feed for taxonomy terms. And the cool thing about this is that that means that there is a feed that exists for each taxonomy term on your site. So if you have a taxonomy term for sports, every piece of content that you publish and tag with that term of sports would then show up in a sports feed that your users could subscribe to. This is a great way to um, offer up specific sections of content on your site for your audiences. Uh, so let's, but um, oftentimes, you know, we'll want to configure our own feeds and, you know, our site is set up in a, in its own particular and unique way. So I've set up a common scenario, which is to have a news page. This is listing all of the articles that have been published on the site. Right now I've only got one, but I've got great ambitions to add more. So in order to add an RSS feed, I'm gonna to go to the view that is powering this, which I have called news. I'm gonna edit it. I'm going to add a feed display and now I can start um, defining the properties of my feed. Uh, I'll start with the title. Remember, you know, this is the name of the feed that's going to show up. So it's probably don't want it to be news because it'll just show up as news in my RSS reader. And I won't know, you know, that it's news from Clayton's website, Clayton's blog, um, as opposed to news from, you know, maybe I'm subscribing to a New York Times RSS feed. So I'll change this. Oftentimes, if you've got a general feed that's for all of the site content, then you would change it to the name of the site. So I can do that too. Um, before we get too far, make sure that you're just changing this for this feed and not every display on your view. Okay. So now we see the format is an RSS feed, makes sense. Um, and then under settings, we can put in a description here. So a blog that rants about how RSS is not dead and other open web topics. Okay, next we'll wanna decide what the path is. Um, a pretty common one is to take the path of, you know, the page that this is associated with. So news in this case, and then add feed to the end of it. 
All right, great. If I want to add that handy little RSS icon to the bottom of the, the list, then I can do that. This is not required though. Um, and by default, access is people who can view published content. That makes sense. Uh, we do not want it to be limited to 10 items. So we're gonna change this to all items. Great, okay, starting to look good. And as you can see, we've got an RSS feed. So what of this content are we actually showing? Um, it looks like right here, we've got the title, the link, and a description. Um, so that's great. That's a good start. Um, but as, uh, as you might notice, we're missing a date and we're missing the author. So how would we change this? This is something that tripped me up when I was first um, learning about RSS fees with Drupal. Unfortunately, there are a couple of pretty significant bugs that make this whole feature pretty much unusable. So the idea here is that you can change this to some of the different view modes that might be available on your content type. But without going into too much detail, I can just say this whole thing is broken. And this RSS settings, in theory, should come from this page here. But that too is unfortunately broken. There are um, a couple issues in the Drupal core issue queue, and there is some good progress being made. So maybe by the time you view this uh, recording, those things will have been resolved. Either way, we wanna have more control over what we're showing here, and we're gonna do that by changing this to fields. Now we don't have any fields set up yet, oh, except for title. Um, and so we're gonna get an error, an error when we try and set this up. You can just exit out and we can start defining those fields. Okay, so we need a link, we need a description, we need a creator, aka author, publication date, and a unique ID. So we've got a title for the description, we can use the body for the author. We can do authored by. For the publication date, we can do authored on. For the unique ID, we can do the UUID. This is gonna be more unique than the node ID. That can work too, but that'll cause some little warnings in that validator when we run, run it through the validator. Um, oh, and a link. So link to content. And again, we just wanna apply this to this feed. Okay, so here's the author to buy. We don't wanna link this, so I'll uncheck that. Okay, authored on. Um, we'll leave that for now. And the body, let's say it's a summary or trimmed. Trimmed limit 600 characters, sure. You can of course adjust that to your own liking. And then link to the content, we wanna output the URL as text. And then the UUID, nothing needs further adjustments there. And then we go back to the fields, set the title, set the link, set the description, authored by, authored on, UID. And this is not a permalink, so we're gonna uncheck this. Hit apply, take a look. We've got the title. Oh, 
It's funny that unlink didn't stick, so we don't want to link that content. Looks much better. Link looks good. Description looks good. Language looks good. Publication date. Okay. Now, this is the error that we were getting before when we tested that front page RSS feed. This date format is not compatible. So, you are going to need to create a new date format, or you can set it to custom and put in the date format um, that follows the RSS standards here. Uh, I have gone ahead and create, oh no, I haven't. I was gonna show how to do that. So here we go, configure, configuration, date and time formats. We'll call it the RSS date. And I think it was this one. This looks like the right one. So this is the format that you'll need. I'll put this in the video um, description and a link to the full blog post that this tutorial pertains to. And now change this to the RSS date. And we'll see here, it's following that RSS friendly date format. Okay, we'll save that and we'll come to this. We've got ourselves an RSS feed. Let's open it up and paste the contents into the feed validator and see what it says. Congratulations, this is a valid feed. All right, excellent. And the rest of these are warnings that really aren't important. You can ignore that. So there you have it. One extra tidbit is that you're getting the username of the author here. So maybe you use people's names as the username. Maybe the username is a fine moniker for your authors. If not, you'll need to create a field for the author, um, for the author's name. So I've gone ahead and done that. Right, I've gone to configuration, account settings, manage fields, and added a full name field here and put in my name. So if I go back to the view, I can add a relationship. Content author, again, just this feed. Oops, we don't want it on the page. <laughs> we want it on the feed. Okay, apply it to this feed, require this relationship. And instead of the authored by, we will instead get the full name of the author. Okay, plain text, this is good. For the creator field, we've got the full name. And as you can see, the creator is Clayton Dewey. 
So that is how you create an RSS feed in Drupal. And if you end up using these other default feeds, you're gonna wanna make sure to go in and adjust those as you see fit. Change them to fields and um, save accordingly. All right, thank you for watching.